Dirty Skirty here. Today I'll be showing you how to access the only loot bin hidden under the map. This adventure will require a Pathfinder, a decent first circle, and at least platinum rank movement abilities. Well, let's go ahead and get started. You'll first want to fly through the mountain cave near Overlook from either the dropship or the balloon that I use here. You can find a tutorial on this flight in my other video showing access to the patched geyser cave. Once you've made it past the entry point, you can use an octane launch pad, loba bracelet, or grapple to bridge this gap. Although, you may need to climb a bit horizontally in order to make it. Once you've landed, continue to the ledge ahead, but stay high to avoid slide barriers that could potentially kill you. Now, you see that little rock floating in the distance? We'll need to launch a zipline onto it in an upright position. This is the treacherous part. Take the zipline, and as you approach the end, hold back on your movement and jump. This should slow your momentum enough to land cleanly on top. Now, we'll need to wait for another zipline. Place zipline number two a few feet below the top of the invisible wall. Jump just before the end and climb onto the wall. This method will make the visuals a little less devastating. Enjoy the rainbows as you cross the train tunnel. You can use grapples to reach the loop in from here, but I like to use an extra zipline just for safety precaution. And there she is, the only loot bin you've never opened. What's in this loot bin, you might ask? Nothing special at all. I've actually never gotten a gold or a purple to spawn in this box. But your luck may be different. I hope you enjoyed this under map discovery and tutorial. Feel free to leave a like or subscribe, I only post unique shit. Stick around for some bonus clips or for the beautiful song. I am Dirty Skirty, the Pathfinder. Please stop nerfing me.